This video is made possible by our loyal Patreon supporters. Visit patreon.com slash psychetruth. Hey guys, thank you for joining us today. I'm going to be doing a massage for Taya and we're going to be doing a full back massage and I'm going to go ahead and get started with some oil. Okay. So always when I go in <clears throat> to introduce my touch, I don't, I'm conscious of not going in too quickly. Right now I'm just focused on applying this oil in a way that feels nice. Not really applying much pressure. Often times I will do compressions to start work on the low back, but you can also do, you know, some effleurage or petrissage to warm everything up. And right now I'm doing just some really basic effleurage, just nice broad strokes. And really being conscious of using my whole body. So I'm going to go in with a little bit more pressure, but I'm about five minutes away from doing anything deeper. And I like to work my way along these erector muscles nice and slow definitely picking up on more tightness on the right so this is also a chance for me to get a better idea of what's going on i usually try to do the same kind of routine on each side but i try to pick which side is going to need more of my attention and time Go ahead with um, just one hand sliding down along that spine and into the hip a little bit. With this move, you just have to be a little bit careful of any um, uncomfortable pressure on the wrist. And not just um, rushing to the opposite side. I like to kind of transition by doing both sides. And <clears throat> just kind of weaving it all together in a way that feels nice and fluid. So <clears throat> I know that I need to and some <clears throat> good quality time in the smith thoracic it feels pretty tight so just taking my time here and i'm pressing in more than i'm pressing down and just spending a little bit longer on this side And just one more time, I'm gonna work my way down nice and slow. And really slow, start to work my way down. not doing a whole lot on the way up, just trying to weave it all together. And I'm actually gonna need, need my way into these muscles a little bit more. So I'm just gonna, this can be a little bit tricky if you're working on a client that is ticklish. 
for most people, this feels really good. And just kind of feel, find what feels right for you. You don't have to do a full rotation. You can do just a really slow, smaller movement. That feels right. And I'm going to go ahead and go in with my forearm. I'm just going to lengthen that muscle. This is really... It's nice to do lengthening after any kneading work. And I'm going to work my way into the hip and the glutes a little bit. Actually, just going to do some compressions. So going in with my elbow, and I'm not using a whole lot of pressure because I haven't worked on the glutes yet. So I'm just gradually sinking my elbow into the muscle tissue. I usually do this two or three times. Work my way up. Maybe the second or third time I'll go a little bit deeper. really just encouraging that space in the low back. And I'm going to go ahead and just make sure that I'm nice and stable so I'm not really sinking my elbow in anymore. That's more for me. I'm going to go ahead and just work my elbow up. Focusing a lot on this mid back because it just feels necessary. Going nice and slow. And another way that you can do this, if you feel intimidated or you don't feel um, stable, you can kind of protect the spine. Just work your elbow up. Go ahead and work my way all the way around the shoulder. And I'm going to go in with my opposite forearm and working my way into the upper back a little bit more. So starting with more of a medium pressure and working my way in a little deeper. But this actually feels like it's, it's a mistake to think that deeper work is always more effective. Sometimes it's not really gotta just pay attention to what feels right in the moment. And I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of check in with both sides and it's also helps your brain pay his attention to both sides before I go in to the left. Sometimes the trickiest part is just remembering your routine that you did. I'm going to go ahead and go in. Not spending as much time here. And again, with this kneading technique, you can do, just find what feels right for you. You can do a full rotation, you can do partial rotation. I actually really like that when I'm working my way down these erector muscles. It's gonna be a little tricky again if your client is ticklish, but. This is also good because you're stable and um, 
You don't have to be too concerned of hitting the vertebrae along the spine. Just have a lot of control here. Go ahead and actually need to add a little bit more oil for arms not gliding across, across the skin very well. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and work my way into my next technique, just focusing on lengthening that muscle after the kneading. And this is just a really nice way to work into the glutes. I'm gonna go ahead and start in with some compressions on the glutes. So nice wide stance and long spine for me. And I'm gonna go ahead and just go in with my elbow, but using a little bit less pressure to start. And just remembering to keep my breath nice and fluid as I work. I have plenty of energy. I'm just encouraging my client to breathe and relax into the work. So the second round of compressions, I'm going to start to sink in a little bit deeper. If the tissue is responsive and ready. It's just, it's definitely um, more enjoyable giving a massage when you can find transitions from each thing that feel natural. Just holding a little bit longer. And finally, I'm going to go ahead and just leverage myself so that I can go in with my elbow and I'm going to do this mid-thoracic work going a little bit deeper and this is a really nice way if you want to protect the spine you can kind of use as much pressure as you need to I'll work my way around the shoulder so really no right or wrong way just whatever way feels most secure I do recommend if you're going to do deep tissue to um, use this technique. It just feels really stable. And transitioning to my opposite forearm. And definitely noticing that these rhomboids on the side are a little bit tighter, just lingering a little longer on this side. And as I'm working, I'm working as a whole unit, I'm not just using my arm, using my whole body. So I'm going to go ahead and in most sessions, I will um, revisit each side. So I'm going to go ahead and sink into this um, erector muscle with my forearm and just nice and slow, I'm going to start to work my way up. And I'm using my whole forearm, but really focusing on that elbow most of my weight and just working nice and slow I know therapists who 
they have a really quick pace and it actually feels really nice. So it's really all about what feels right to you as the therapist. We kind of all have our own way of giving a massage using the same techniques. I'm just spending a little bit more time on the shoulder. When you're working on a smaller person like Taya, it can be a little harder to um, do detailed work with the elbow. I find myself using um, my thumbs a little bit more when I'm working on a smaller person. So later on, I'm going to get into Taya's upper back with my thumbs, but I'm just working my way up. And focusing on these rhomboids on the left. No matter the size of person, you can usually um, do some really effective elbow work in the rhomboids. But the scapula and the traps can be a little bit harder do with the elbow on a smaller person. I'm just going to give Taya a little break, do something that feels nice. Also giving myself a little break by doing something that takes a little less concentration. And finally, I'm going to go ahead and end with some thumb work. Go ahead and just go in with my thumbs. And go ahead and lengthen some of these muscles. Getting into the scapula a little bit. like to thank a few of our patrons, Alexandre D, Stephen, and Jamie O. Thank you so much for your support. We really appreciate you guys. And move to the opposite side, same thing. If you are having trouble, you might want to step um, so that you're working at a diagonal. So from the other side of the table, if that makes sense. And just getting in there with both thumbs. So I would never spend more than like five minutes doing this thumb work. Just because it's pretty demanding. But usually it feels really nice. I'm going to go ahead and end with one last run along the spine and into the hips. And into the neck. And that is it for today. Thank you so much for joining us today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and I look forward to seeing you next time.